so we are back with another dinner subscription box. This one is from Gobble. And Colin actually found this one. Uh, where did you find it? Uh, so a uh, buddy of mine on Facebook uh, sent out a link and uh, that uh, gave anyone who clicked on it a week's worth of food uh, from this uh, subscription service. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I figured you might as well try them out. It doesn't cost us anything. So yeah, give them a yay shot. for free trials. And this is three meals, so this is exciting. Uh, the deal with this one is that it is a 10 minute dinner and it's just a one pot meal and they give you everything already all chopped up and par cooked. Every week you have a choice between six meals, however they choose the meals for you. You can then look at your profile and say, oh that chicken doesn't look so tasty, can you please give me the beef instead? but you have to email them to let them know that. Otherwise, they just give you what they think that you will like based on your preferences. And the preferences are really just like omnivore, vegetarian, you know, so nothing too specific. So anyway, the meals that we got are short ribs, chicken mole poblano, and this scarlet snapper. So we're gonna make the snapper tonight. This should be interesting, I'm excited. And the best thing about this so far is they sent this sweet little handwritten card that says, you know, thank you, I hope you enjoy it, and we sent you cookies! Yay, they sent us cookies! So we will be making cookies for dessert tonight. I'm really excited about that, that was so sweet of them. <laughs> so they do only deliver in California and Nevada, so if you don't live in those states, sorry. Oh, and it's, did I say, it's $9.99 per plate. All right, so we're gonna make the snapper, so let's, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so we've got our fish on our pan here. It says you need a baking sheet or saute pan. We're using a baking sheet, a mixing bowl, and a fish spatula or metal spatula. This is a fish spatula. You can tell because it is a longer spatula. This is used to scoop up and slide under the entire fish because fish has a tendency to flake and fall apart. Um, okay, so we've got the oven preheating to 450 on broil. That's good. So, okay, so I'm going to throw it in. All right. Okay, so the next step is in a small bowl, toss the pearl onion couscous. So just give you like a Ziploc bag with these, um, what do you call this seal? Like, you know, where they suction all of the air out? Vacuum seal. Vacuum seal, thank you. Well, what would I do without you, darling? Yeah, the couscous looks cooked. Both these bags go in, right? Uh, I think so. All right, let me read that again. Or maybe the tomatoes. Toss the pearl couscous, yes. The hard coverts, which I'm assuming are these. These aren't like labeled. And the seasoning oil from the container of tomatoes. Okay, so not the tomatoes, not just the tomatoes, the oil. Just the oil. And these. Right, okay, so that's actually an interesting note. So yeah, that's a little confusing. So just the oil. Okay. Well, that's, that's a kind of a you know interesting way of doing it rather than having them separate. I'm assuming these are the haricot burts because uh, there's nothing else. And salt and pepper, and then mix mm -hmm. together. Uh, place on the center of each serving plate. Well, that is that is brick like. I'm just gonna stab at it for a while. Yeah, this is already cooked, and we're just supposed to eat it cold because it says to plate it right after mixing it. So. Yep. That's interesting. You know, one thing about this is that it's, you know, you can't alter the recipe, really. I mean, you could take out the tomatoes, but you know how, like, I have the amount of onions on... Well, we could have had the amount of, you know, the ingredients. That's here. true. Like a little That's bit. True. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Spoon the tomatoes and remaining vinaigrette from the container around the plate to finish it off. Okay, that's interesting. I don't think I'm going to spoon it. <laughs> yeah, because really, like, what queen am I serving this to besides my beautiful hey, wife hey. here who's not going to care if I That's true. dump it on the plate or spoon it on the plate. I don't think it's going to matter. After doing the other boxes, this is really weird. Not spend 20 minutes cutting everything up. I mean, it's weird just to say, ah, oh, I've mixed two bags together. <laughs> it feels really weird to not, you know, be doing 700 things. So I, think, I, I um, guess I could just plate this stuff, right? Yeah, then, yeah, just okay. put it on there. I'm going to find a baking sheet for our cookies. It's weird to think that we're eating so quickly. Yeah, the Blue Apron meals took forever. You know what, though? My mom started getting Blue Apron after we did our videos, and she said that she noticed the meals getting easier. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. so maybe they're internally, they've said, hey, wait a minute. Yeah, maybe they 
they heard us complaining. Sure. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. They're watching our videos going, we're taking notes on this. Well, we hope the people at Gobble.com are watching this. Um, our notes are, include cookies with every meal. <laughs> That's our initial note. It does say on here you can call the hotline anytime for cooking help or instructions. So yeah. <laughs> What cooking instructions? People hotline. are going to be like, I can't get the bag open. I'm going to taste it. You want to try that? Okay, I'll try it. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. <laughs> I love it when you're surprised when you like something. Well, it's, it's not, terrible. It's not a steak, so I'm, I'm surprised. No, it actually is. It is good. Couscous mm -hmm. usually yes. isn't my isn't my favorite, you know, thing to eat. So oh. that's good. And the um, the what are these little green things called? Paracot verts. I don't know what that is. I thought that was green beans. But I think I think their spell check just put in something random. They put in green beans, and it came up with paracot verts. I <laughs> I think this is just. Microsoft spell check messing with them. I think that's what it means. I think it. I think it. You know, like those skinny green beans. You steal my green beans. All right, done. Is there fish? There's our fish in record time. Okay, you wanna? I do. I'm gonna use our um, fancy fish spatula. Let me let me screw this up. All right, mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. right. This one's yours. <sighs> Boom. Done. Look at that. This sat in our drawer for, what, eight years? It's not true. I use it occasionally for other things. <laughs> When's the last time we you used, used this We used to like have fish? fish. I used to make you fish every week. Ugh, yeah. No, your cooking's great. I'm just not a big fan of fish. So, uh, okay, so remove fish from the oven. Carefully place atop the couscous uh, in the center of the plate. Okay, spoon the toy box tomatoes and remaining vinaigrette. Okay, yeah, that's I think from this picture you're actually supposed to spill the tomatoes onto the table. It does. It shows them all over the table. It's like someone just threw it up in the air. And... If you could just scatter those. Yeah, see that's the great thing about this being in a bag is I can just kind of throw them anywhere. I don't know how you're supposed to get the vinegar. You know, maybe I, maybe I will spoon out the vinaigrette. Fork, fork it out. Yeah, fork it out. Yeah. That looks pretty good. It looks that's, that's beautiful. A, that's about the most colorful plate. Uh, and it looks, together. you know, pretty much exactly like the picture, other than the fact that we didn't put tomatoes all over the counter. <laughs> I don't know why I'm harping on the tomatoes being everywhere. <laughs> this is beautiful. You did an excellent job plating this, my love. That's really good. Is it? Yeah, especially with the, um, the extra sauce on the top. But this is this is coming from someone who doesn't typically like um, fish. Pirate shanty. Why does it do that? Yeah, the extra sauce on top helps a lot. I mean, don't don't skip that part. Yeah, so maybe that's a downside of this is it doesn't exactly tell you. Like, yeah, so it, if I wanted to remake this. Yeah, so if you wanted to make whatever's in this bag. You know, I bet though if you were to call or email them or something, they would probably give you the. Uh, seems like work. The whole reason of doing this meal. Yeah. Is no work. That's true. I guess maybe they figure. If if you're doing these meals, you're, you're probably not going to remake this. Probably not. You're like, yeah, it's gone. It'll never be back. But yeah, it's tasty, definitely. Uh, the price is, is good. The price is great. The cooking time is awesome. Even if we don't do them every week, mm -hmm. you know, that is one thing. You can skip weeks. With all of these box subscriptions, I think that's an option. Yeah. You know, you can skip a week. You're gonna be out of town, you just don't like that week's recipes, you know, whatever. The portion sizes seem good too. I know when we were unboxing it, mm -hmm. um, you were afraid that it you that it might only be for one person because yeah, it looked yeah, like yeah. it's gonna be small, but Well, I'm eating all those cream barbecue ribs, so that's that's just I'm eating all those cookies, by the way. <laughs> yeah, that's delicious. Mm -hmm. So far I'm loving it. Okay, it's right. awesome. So we will be back with two more meals from this one. Keep an eye out for that. And we'll see you later. So thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in our next video. Bye!